So multiplying, dividing, we need to again factor first. It does that this time it does ask you state restrictions. Make sure before you try factoring this that you take out the greatest common factors whenever you see whenever you factor. So here we have greatest common factor of 2x. So we end up with x squared plus 3x minus 10. Okay, and then we're going to factor that quadratic. Here the greatest common factor is 6. So we end up with x squared minus 4 times x plus 4 x plus 2 x minus 3 x minus 2 okay so let's finish our factoring here then we can see the restrictions 2x x plus 5 x minus 2 x minus 2 x minus 2 and really this is just one big fraction right everything on this is just time so times on top divide on bottom we're just combining that anyways so I'm just going to write this as one big fraction now and before I cancel I'm going to state my restrictions so x this is a plus okay, so we have difference of squares so when one needs to be minus one needs to be plus so x is not equal to 2 negative 2 and 3 okay so we don't have to worry about the numerator for restrictions because the numerators can be equal to 0 it's just the denominators we can't divide by 0 now once we state our restrictions we can start canceling factors and again since it's all times we can now cancel Okay, if there's pluses in between these factors, we cannot cancel. So we've got those factors cancel out. Uh, I think that's it. And then we can simplify the, the 2 and the 6 to 2, 6 to 1 third. Okay, and then just make sure that you're not making this too messy so it's because it starts getting hard to keep track of. So I'm going to use extra steps if I need it. So I end up with x, x plus 5, x plus 4. On the bottom, I have a factor of 3, x minus 2, x minus 3, and yeah, there's no more factors that cancel out, so I'm done. With a complex fraction, we want to get rid of the embedded denominators. Well, we can get rid of denominators with multiplication. But when we multiply, so I want to multiply this by x plus 3 to get rid of the divide by x plus 3. I need to multiply this by x plus 3 to get rid of the divide x plus 3. I can do that because I can balance the fraction by multiplying top and bottom. Before we cancel, though, you have to state your restrictions. Okay, so I'm going to have to state my restrictions twice here because I'm going to have to state restrictions when I cancel this, before I cancel this, and then I have another denominator here which I'm going to have a restriction for. So there's my first restriction. I need to get rid of that denominator. Get rid of the divide by x plus 3, which is kind of getting in the way. It's a little bit distracting. And I'm going to do it to the top and bottom. I've balanced the fraction, so I'm okay. I haven't broken any math rules here. I need to make sure I distribute x squared minus 9 plus when I multiply this out the x plus 3 is cancel so I'm just left with 8x. Here again I distribute okay, so x plus 3 times x becomes x squared plus 3x and then the x plus 3's cancel so I end up with minus 4. So at this point, I need to try to factor this. Okay, if this is factorable, I should really state the restrictions in its factored form. So I'm going to just rearrange this first. It looks like the numerator is factorable. 
the denominator factors to plus 4 minus 1. Okay, that's going to give me plus 3 and multiply to negative 4. I can state my restrictions now. Negative 4 and positive 1. So these restrictions were done separately from this restrict these restrictions here. Okay, we had to kind of do that at separate times. So I can now start canceling things. I need to factor before I cancel. So I have x plus 9, x minus 1, x plus 4, x minus 1. I stated my restrictions so I can cancel. So my simplified expression is x plus 9 over x plus 4. So that's much easier to deal with than this expression here.